All right, welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Well, Ivanka's testimony is done. Uh, mostly no fireworks. Interesting that the um, articles I'm reading described her as the most polished witness brought in. That doesn't, and I don't think they were qualifying amongst all uh, the Trump witnesses. I mean, everybody. But even if we did it amongst the uh, Donald Trump and his spawn, not a surprise that she would have been the most polished and the most prepared because she understands she's got the most to lose. Um, most of her testimony was basically saying that she wasn't involved in the finances, but she was involved in the deals. And she had to admit some things with emails and things along those lines of what her role was. Um, I, I'm not clear what uh, the uh, attorney general gets from Ivanka's testimony, other than I guess it just, it sort of, seals the deal that she wasn't the one who did the finances it was it was other people and those other people would be donald trump so i think it it maybe it just closes uh, an avenue of escape that trump might have used um but i'm gonna throw on the energy of her testimony and then trump's energy and we can call it a, a wrap on this one uh <laughs> probably won't read on this trial for a little while because well maybe when the defense comes on they might Ah, something interesting but energy how did Ivanka's testimony go celebration I think this card's come up for her before I think she's happy it's over with I think she feels like she got in she got the job done got out and now she's gonna go on with her life yeah she answered the the AG forced her to come in she got in there and I think she got out without much damage to her reputation or her criminal liability uh, Page of Pentacles, yeah. She managed to basically minimize her position. She just did deals. She didn't do anything with the money. She was a minor player when it came to the finances. This is her brothers and her dad that were uh, involved in that. In the past seven of uh, wands, she was fighting from a position of advantage. Um, she had won an appeal that got her out of the case altogether. She came in as a witness to this one. She really, as long as she didn't lie, she had no liability coming into this. Justice card is the current situation. I believe she told the truth or as much she, she told enough of the truth that she's not going to get hit with perjury charges and, and not so much truth that she gets herself into any further trouble or lies that would get her into trouble. And this is going to put... Again, I, as I was dealing back in here, it's going to put uh, the onus back on the male spawn of the family. She gave some insight as to what was going on at Trump Org and how the deals were done and who was behind the finances of the deals. Yeah, it, and basically, I, I wasn't in the finances. I wasn't in the money. Here are the people, you know, Don Jr., Eric, and my father were all the ones that handled the money. And her testimony was over quickly. It was broadcasted. It was over quickly. She's done and dusted. And now she's gonna go. She's gonna go leave. She'll be out of town as quick as possible to get back to her kids. Cause you know it's a school week, and they need their mommy there to get them <laughs> awake tomorrow to go to school. <laughs> you can just hear her tell the nanny, "Please don't wake me up. I've got to sleep. I'm exhausted from all this stress." I'm taking the rest of the week off. Okay. So, done and dusted. She's done. Bye-bye. We don't have to see her again for a while. How does Donald feel about her testimony? So, we were trying to figure out yesterday if he was going to show up, and it didn't look like he was going to. He had some other commitments, maybe some legal commitments. He might have had those, but turns out he had a rally in Florida to uh, that was an hour earlier than the presidential debate. <laughs> I can only imagine the, the Republican GOP uh, primary candidate debate. <sighs> I can't imagine it's got numbers. I just can't imagine it's got numbers. Trump's not in there. What do you, you my, my pens dropped down. I mean, so you're gonna watch Nikki Haley and Vivek yell at each other. Hooray! <laughs> you know how exciting. How exciting. All right. Yeah, and maybe that's why Donald Trump is still leading 
in the polls for the GOP because who's exciting on the for the GOP candidate? I'm not excited by any of those candidates. Now, mind you, I not voting for them, but if I was, I still wouldn't be excited by any of their candidates. Oh dear, maybe Asa Hutchinson. That's only because he almost appears to be able to tell the truth. How did Donna feel about Ivanka's testimony? For Carter, Knight of Swords, <clears throat> very strong, very powerful testimony. Um, he went he went to True Social to to post how it's a fake trial and nobody got hurt and there's no victims. It doesn't matter that there's no victims. The law doesn't require that. Got the Hermit. Ace of Wands, Five of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Um, how does he feel about her testimony? Um, he's got his reactions to it. I think he felt that she did a good job. She was very strong. I, I think he really liked the cross-examination that was done where they talked about... Uh, the Doro golf course and how uh, Doral golf course and how Trump had a passion for it. And they sold the idea to Deutsche Bank. Um, I think, again, I think he thinks she did well. She was strong. He thinks that she illuminated uh, the witch hunt of, of this case. Um, he might be a little bit concerned that she was distancing herself from the money, the financial deals on that one. This, you know, I was saying he might toss her out of the, um, out of the family, uh, out of the family, uh, fortune. But I, I'm just not getting that feel. I mean, if it, if it was, it's like, he's gonna make it just quick, get out of my family. You told the truth. How dare you? You're gone. How dare you support the justice system? But her testimony was so much more, um, nuanced than that. He doesn't do nuance. He's a Fred Flintstone club kind of guy. And so he doesn't hear the nuance. He only sees what he wants to see. <clears throat> and he doesn't realize that she was basically saying, I don't do anything with the money. Go talk with my dad. She advances the, the, the case. I don't think he, he just doesn't understand. He doesn't understand that um, she was sinking his cause. Because her words were such that it sounded like she was supporting him. <sighs> okay. Well, we didn't ask about that. So that's the last one. Poor Carter. Did she advance the case? Did she Did she basically seal the deal for the uh, prosecution? Now, mind you, the prosecution already has the deal sealed. But did she seal it <laughs> even further? Was she the final nail in the coffin for Judge Engeron? I'm sure Judge Engeron was finally relieved to have a tr one in four Trump witnesses, the last one anyways, be somewhat reasonable and answer the questions asked and not have to get yelled at or admonished or anything along those lines. <laughs> you can only imagine. All right. Did, did she advance this case? What was her impact on this case? Nine of Wands. She wasn't the penultimate witness. Well, I think it's now we look to see what um, what the defense is putting up. Let's let's see what the rest of these is. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Sun card, a couple of Nines, and an Eight. <coughs> what do we got? Um, how did she impact this case? Um, truth has certainly been exposed. Um, it's you know what. It's not telling me how she impacted the case. It's telling me how she's feeling. She's kind of cautious now. Like, okay, I did my testimony. I told the truth. You know, now what? Do I have to leave now? You know, I can't believe I had to throw my dad and my brothers under the bus. I need to leave. What are my plans next? That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, she definitely did. She told the truth on this one. This this doesn't tell me how she advanced the case. Maybe it doesn't matter at this point. It's still focusing on Ivanka and her her personal feelings towards her family and such. So me, knowing if it advanced the case isn't really that relevant at this point. The case is already advanced. And now it's just a matter of 
We'll see what the defense, <laughs> we'll see what the Keystone Cops defense puts up there over the next couple of weeks. This ought to be entertaining. And I don't mean it's going to be very entertaining. The cross-examinations would be entertaining. That part would be interesting to see on television, but we're not going to get to see that. Okay, so that's my reading on Ivanka's testimony. Looks like she told the truth. Looks like Donald doesn't really understand that he's bleeding right now from his daughter's cuts on him. And uh, she's a little bit concerned how she's going to move forward uh, with family and is probably just going to cut bait and fish on. Just another day in paradise for the Trumps. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments and everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so that my video makes it out to new uh, viewers. To those new viewers, welcome to the channel. I hope you found this reading insightful and I hope to catch you on the next one. Take care.